Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this pop-up using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, I showed you how to write the HTML and this is how our page looks right now. Now in this video, we will add the CSS and make it look like this. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here I am in the source code of our design and we have already linked our CSS file over here. So let's start with the CSS. So if we scroll down in the HTML we can see that we have this division with the class of popup overlay and in that we have the popup container. So first of all let's style this popup overlay. So let's go to a style or CSS file and uh, let's type dot popup overlay. And first of all let's set the background color to RGBA and we'll set the color to black but we'll have a little bit of opacity so let's tap 0.4 for the alpha value and let's set the position of the overlay to fixed and we'll set the left position to 0 and the top position to 0 and we'll set the height to 100 viewport height and also the width to 100 percent and let's go back to our design and now we can see that the overlay is displayed over here we can see that we have this dark overlay over the content of our website. Now if you want to make it a little bit darker, you can just go ahead and change the alpha. So if I just change this to 0 0.8, this is how it will look. So let's change it back to 0 0.4. Now before writing the CSS of the pop-up container, let's add some CSS to this uh, post content. So if you go back to our index.html file, here we can see that we have this division with the class of page content. So let's style that real quick. So here I'll just type page content. And let's set the max width to 700 pixels. And let's set the font family to Roboto sans serif. And we'll also bring it to the center. So let's type margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And let's also add some line height to these paragraphs. So here we can see inside the page content we have this paragraph. So let's type page content P and let's set the line height to 2. And now we can see that we have the content styled correctly. Right now let's focus on the pop-up container. So here we have this division of the class of pop-up container. Let's style that. So here I'll just type pop-up container. Now we want the pop-up container also to be in the center of the screen. So for that let's set the position to fixed. And let's just add a background color to see what is the width and the height. Right, so let's bring it to the center. Now to bring it to the center we have to type left 50% and top 50%. Now we can see that it starts from the center. Now we have to bring this exactly in the center. So it should not start from the center, it should be in the center. So for that we have to type transform translate and we have to set the x and the y axis to negative 50 percent and now we can see that it is exactly in the center now let's also set the font family so let's type font family and let's set the font family to railway and sans serif and we'll set the color of all the text to white and let's also add a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right and let's also add a box shadow. So let's type box shadow. And let's set the values to 0, 6 pixels, 55 pixels, negative 10 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.7. And let's remove this background color. Now here we can see we don't have any background color. Now we have to set this uh, image as the background color. So let's go back and uh, here we just type background image. And let's set it to URL. And we have the images inside the images folder. So let's type images forward slash. And the image is called bg.png. And now let's go back. And here we can see that the image is being used as the background. Now we don't want this image to be tiled. We want it to be stretched across this uh, entire division. So for that let's type background size. And let's set it to cover. And now we can see that the image looks alright. Right now the next thing we will do is we will set the box sizing to border box for all the elements so that we have the correct width and height for all the elements. So here we just type pop-up container and also all the elements inside that. So let's type pop-up container asterisk. 
and here we'll just type box sizing and set it to border box. Right now the next thing we will do is style these images. So here we can see we have all these images one below the other. So for that we will set the position of the images to absolute. So since we have the position of fixed over here in the pop-up container, all the images will be positioned relative to this pop-up container. So let's type pop-up container left and uh, let's go back to our HTML. And we have these three images over here. So what we will do is uh, we will add some classes to these images. So for the first image, let's type class and let's set it to bg2. And for the second image, let's type class equals bg1. And then for the hero image, let's type class equals hero image. Right now, let's go back and let's target all the images first of all. And uh, let's set the position to absolute. And here we can see all the images are one below the other. And now let's set the bottom position to zero. So here we can see that the images start from here. So let's go back and uh, let's type bottom zero. Right now we can see that the images start from here. Right now let's add some left position to the bottom images. So let's type pop-up container left. And for the first BG we have a class called BG1. So for that let's type left and uh, let's set it to 80 pixels. And now we can see that the image is displayed over here. Now let's also target the image called BG2. So let's type pop-up container left bg2 and let's set the left position to 64 pixels and now we can see that the third image is also displayed over here right now let's style this right division so if we go back to our html here we can see we have this division with the class of right and in that we have all these elements so first of all let's target this right division so here i'll just type pop-up container right and first of all, let's set the width to 540 pixels. And let's add a padding to the left so that all the elements are shifted to the right. So let's type padding left. And let's set it to 250 pixels. And we also add an overall padding. So here before this, I'll just type padding and let's set it to 16 pixels. Right now, let's style the skip button. So for the skip button, we have a division with the class of skip button. So here, I'll just type pop-up container skip button and let's set it to position absolute and uh, let's set the top position to 4 pixels and also the right position to 4 pixels and uh, let's add a background color and uh, let's set it to black and we'll also add a padding of 2 pixels top and bottom and 6 pixels left and right and let's set the font size to 14 pixels and we'll also set the cursor to pointer so let's type cursor pointer so that's it with the skip button now let's style this logo so if you go back to the html here we can see we have this paragraph with the class of logo so let's type pop-up container p.logo and let's set the font size to 13 pixels and let's set the color to FEBDFF. And let's set the text transform to uppercase. And we'll also set a margin bottom. And let's set it to 4 pixels. Right now, let's style this heading. So for the heading, we have a class called pop up heading, and it is an H2. So let's target that over here. Let's type pop up container H2.pop up heading. And let's set the font size to 30 pixels and let's set the text transform to uppercase and we'll also set a margin of zero right now let's style this paragraph so for the paragraph we have a p tag with a class of description so let's target that over here let's type pop-up container p dot description and let's set the font size to 15 pixels and we'll also set the line height to 1.8 right now the last thing we need to do is style this button so for the button we have an anchor tag with the class of button let's just change this to visit button right now let's go back to our CSS 
and uh, let's type pop-up container visit button and let's set the background color to white and uh, let's remove the underline so let's type text decoration and let's set it to none and uh, let's set the font size to 15 pixels and let's set the font weight to bold and let's set the color of the text to black and let's also add a padding and let's set the padding to 8 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right let's also add a margin top so let's tap margin top and let's set it to 8 pixels and the margin top is not being added because uh, the anchor tags are inline elements by default so we have to change it to an inline block so let's tap display of inline block and now we have the margin being added Right, so that's basically it with the CSS of our uh, pop-up. And that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.